Hello, handbag lovers. I am here with part two of my bag charm collection. In my last video, I went over my coach charms and uh, due to the length of that video, decided I should do a part two and maybe even a part three to go over the others. So um, as for this video, my plan is to go over my Dooney and Burke handbag charms and then some miscellaneous charms that I have. Depending on the time, I will go over my Chala charms that are at the top, but I think the Chala charms may be a part three. So if you're interested in seeing this video, please keep on watching. Thank you all for joining me. I always appreciate my subscribers. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would encourage you to subscribe if you like these types of videos. So to start with, I will go over my first Dooney and Burke handbag charm. And as you can see, this is just the tassel charm. It's in black and it has the gold hardware and it is, I was going to open it up here. It opens up like so. And it has the Dooney and Burke on the front. So that's charm number one. Dooney and Burke charm number two. This is the lock, the logo lock. You can see it does have the lock as well as a key. And it has the dog clip attachment. And with it, it has the DMB symbol on the front. I do have a picture of this bag charm on one of my bags, and I will insert it. I find that I don't use the Dooney and Burke charms as much as the Coach charms. Here is the Dooney and Burke Valet charm, also in the beautiful gold with the DMB and the clip. And actually, I think this might be a lobster clip. I'm not sure. I think the dog leash, leash have the pull down. So my language may be a little off there. So this is the valet key purse that I use as a purse charm, I believe. You can open this up. So you twist. You can open up the lock. And then you can take this part off. So depending, you can keep this part with your keys on it and then you can give this one to the valet driver so this one does have function as well I really like the pink on this one you can see around the lock it has the pink Dooney and Burke so very pretty shiny gold charm then I have what everybody's favorite, the Dooney and Burke Chubby Duck. They either call it the Chubby or the Chunky Duck. Very popular, probably. <laughs> Most people have seen this one before. Again, with the gold and the clip and the cute duck. <laughs> this one is the my colorful Dooney and Burke. Same setup with the clip, with the ring, and then this one has the Dooney and Burke with the colored letters, which is really cute. Hope you can see that. So this is probably one of my favorite of the Dooney bag charms. And then we have a situation here. A little entanglement. All right, so I guess that one wanted to come with. This is the polka dot. I think there is a name for this polka dot print. 
and because I have a wallet with the polka dots as well with Dooney and Burke I will if I get the name I will make sure I include it on the video this one also has the clip the DMB and then it has a little DMB hanging off as well onto the bag charm so that's that and then this little guy who got me into the entanglement there this one I took off of a, a bag I had actually given the bag away I gave it to Goodwill because I had it for so long but before I <laughs> gave it away I kept this charm that was on it so this one's kind of old school Dooney and Burke on the back and then the duck in blue on the front and then it just has the leather um, strap on it to hang it on your bag. So that's a cute one. So somebody picked up a bag from Goodwill that didn't have that on it. But okay, here's another one. These is the Dooney and Burke little flowers. Has the pink and peach colors and the same clip ring DMB setup. I know I wore this on a bag before, but I'm not sure if I have a picture handy. If I do, I will make sure I include it. I think that's it with the Dooney charms. So I'm going to go into the miscellaneous charms. As you can see, I have a lot fewer Dooney and Burke charms, and I'm not sure if that's a function of they have fewer or if I just like coach better. So let me start with this, going into the miscellaneous. This is a Mickey cupcake charm that I got for my sister in the mail as a surprise, and it really made my day. So how cute is this little cupcake? And to get it as a surprise in the mail made it even nicer. It has the gold clip here, and then it has a little red apple, and it has something imprinted on the back that I can't quite read right now but the little cupcake and the sprinkles and the Mickey ears and the Mickey pants I thought this was so cute so it's one of my favorite for sure then I have this Kate Spade has the classic spade and then it has the ring clip and this one is in silver hardware sometimes that lighting um, Makes me not able to see silver or gold, but this one's silver. Really cute. And then I have this one. I don't know where I got this one from. I don't know what brand it is. I just think I picked this up at a store and I thought it was cute with the colors. And I do have a picture of it on a pink bag I will share. Might have got it. I don't know where I got it. Could be Walmart. Could be anywhere. But I like the pink glitter. I don't know if you see the pink glitter all the around, all around. And this one is in the gold hardware. Then I have this pineapple. Same story with Mr. Pineapple. I have no idea where I got Mr. Pineapple from. But I just thought the pineapple was cute with the color. And then the little sequins in different colors on the front were also cute and it's in the gold hardware. So I picked Mr. Pineapple up. And then I have this shiny silver heart. I usually wear it up against a black bag. I'm not sure if I have a picture of a bag with this one, but if I do, I will post it. Now this one has the big heart with the uh, diamonds. I'm sure if fake studs here and then it has an elephant and then it has a smaller heart outlined with the little diamonds and then it has the ring and then also the clip I actually got this one at New York and Company but I thought it was cute and looks great against a black bag This one was also cute. This is another one where I picked it up, not sure where, um, but I just liked all the different colors here. So you have the flower with the pink, and it's like in a 
faux leather. And then you have like the little circle with the stripes. It's plastic, see-through. Then they have a small little gold tassel, which was cute. Another one of the striped circles. And then another one of the uh, leather flowers. And it is in gold. So I thought that was really cute, cute little charm. And then I have my little silver guitar that I got from the Hard Rock Cafe. And I thought this one was really cute. So you see it has the guitar with the green and then it has a Hard Rock Cafe. I'm not sure if you could see that on it. <laughs> Sorry, that's not quite working out, but can you, I hope you could see our rock cafe there. Well, that's really cute. Then it has the, the clip. Another cute one. I usually wear this one on a, my that same black Safiano zip zip bag, and it looks really cute. It stands out. Then I have another Kate Spade. This one is in red, as you can see. I think I got this at one of the Kate Spade surprise sales. It also has the clip there. Then my last two are from my favorite place, Disney. So this is the mini bow charm with the red bow, the gold hardware, and then the clip. Let me see if this has anything on it. It says something, I'm not really sure what, but it has the clip. I think this one may have also been a gift from my sister. She loves Disney, I love Disney, I love bags. There you go. And then the last Disney one I shared on my channel with my Keith Herring Madison 18. This is the Mickey, or sorry, Minnie, with the red bow. It looks really cute on my Keith Herring Disney Mickey Mouse black, red, and white bag. So that is the Coach, or I'm sorry, the Dooney and Burke and the Miscellaneous Charms. I'm gonna go through and do the remaining charms so I don't have to do a part three. Um, so I love Chala Charms. I learned about Charla Charms, I think in a Facebook group, someone had a beautiful picture of a bag and they had this charm and I actually think it was a sunflower, which I'll show in a moment. And I'm like, where'd you get that charm? And they're like, it was a Charla Charm. So I think it's pretty popular, but these charms are so cute. So this is a bee, which you've probably, you've seen before when I shared my Jean Dalton. So it has a lot of detail in it. So it has the chala on the front and it's a little bee in yellow and black and uh, leather and then it has a flower. The middle, middle of the flower says chala and it has a little button eye, little chala tag. Then on the back it has a zipper where you can put something in it, maybe cash, and then it has polka dot trim in the middle. So lots of details on these little bags and it has its little um, antenna on, on the top, little threads, so, so more details. Uh, and then this is just a coach tag I stuck in there. It might have fallen off of a bag or something and I stuck it in here, but I don't use these pockets for much at this point in time. And this is a hummingbird, oh my God. How pretty is this hummingbird? I think I just bought all these around spring. Once I heard about them, I fell in love. I need to go back and kind of see what else they have, but I kind of don't. So these are, here's her little card, Chala Charm. I got some of these on the handbag store, and then I got some of them from Amazon, actually. So look at the hummingbird, the same details, the flower, the different colors, the pinks, the yellows, the studs, the little uh, kind of button-like eye for the hummingbird. 
just very pretty. This one has the Chala, um, pat, not patch, but the Chala on the back. And it, it's a plate, a gold plate, and it has Chala. So it doesn't have the zipper. The next one is my beautiful butterfly. Love the colors. Again, love the detail. I do have a picture of a bag with this one. My Coach Penny, I'll share. But spring, butterfly, hummingbirds. So I saw them and I just couldn't choose. This one does have the zipper on the back and I got something in here. Oh, actually it's a silica pack. It has the same polka dot interior but it has Chala, a patch in there that says Chala. So another cute one. And then here's Miss Ladybug. Oh, check her out. Look at the detail, the yellow flower, Chala, the a heart. I really like that. With the red stitching, and then it's in the red leather, and then this just has a little dot with the red stitching. And then it has the zipper as well. And it also has the polka dots with the Chala sewn in. So love my little ladybug. So cute. And then here's the one that I first saw. Or actually, I think I started seeing these on a lot of different bags. And I'm like, where are they getting those charms from? They're beautiful. This one is the sunflower. Would you look at the detail on here? The different color, the orange, the yellows. The studs that are all throughout on the uh, flower petals as well as in the middle. And then it has a little bumblebee on the flower. The details on these charms is just amazing. Then on the back, this one also has the zipper. Same with the polka dots and chala. So of them all, this is really my favorite. Just beautiful for spring and summertime. And her charms have this like darker uh, gold clip and chain and key ring. And then you saw my charm by Carmen charm on my last video. And look at Miss, I have a Yorkie. So you know I couldn't pass this up. And I do have a picture of the ba a bag with Mr. Mr. Yorkie on it. I think I'll call her Miss Yorkie because my dog's a girl. Look at the eyes, the red tongue, the variations in colors of brown, the pink at the top on the ears, just the cute little bag charm doggy. And this one also has the zipper on the back and the same color hardware. So it's my little Yorkie. Then we have the fish. I love it. I love the colors once again and the detail. And Mr. Fish or Mrs. Fish, same interior. I like this like, um, weaving on the back of all the charms as well. Very cute. So these are very detailed, very substantial as far as, you know, they seem very high quality. The fish has some scales here, some scales on the front, different colors, and then it has the red star with Chala engraving. Just three more here. Look at this one. This is my little cat. I thought this one was cute. I don't have a cat, but I just thought it was just very cute. Again, it has the Chala heart and looks like it's a butterfly flying up against her nose. She's stitched in white and she also has the zipper back, which is the same as the others. And then she has this little cute crystal eye in, in blue or tur turquoise. Oops. Very colorful, very pretty. This is cat. And then I have the a flower, another flower. It's actually two flowers on this one. 
Love the colors, the yellow in the middle. And this one has a ladybug on the middle of the flower. It has a um, orange smaller flower with also a cute little uh, center with the same hardware as the chain, as the Chala emblem. Same zipper back, same interior. I love this one too. I still like the sunflower the best, but I thought this flower was cute. And then the last one, to be honest, I don't even know why I got this, <laughs> but it's a cow. I probably got it because of all the colors. So it's eating grass. That was cute. The, the eyes were cute, how one's black and white and the stitched patch around one of the eyes. Then the ears and the horns. I guess I am in Texas. This isn't exactly a longhorn, though. Um, udders, a flower. So I got this one. It looks like it has a little tail there. Just the detail on the Chala charms are so cute and so attractive. And let's see if Mr. Mr. Cow has anything different. So same polka dot interior, but no Chala patch like the others. So this is Mr. Cow. Mr. Cow's cute. I guess that's why I bought him. Okay, well that concludes my bag charm review. Lots of cute stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate all my subscribers. I appreciate new subscribers. I appreciate those who consistently comment that I can engage with. So I do want to send a special thanks out to you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and thank you for watching.